All right, so at this point, you have six tabs down here at the bottom. I only have two because I'm only doing it for the first two years, but yours should go right back to 2016, all right? You should have each of the titles labeled with correct years in different colors, and each of the sources pasted in for this link right here. If that's the case, you're ready to move on. If not, pause this video and get there. What are we doing in this video? In this video, I want to show you how to read these sources and find your new marginal tax rates. That's usually what's changing. And the ranges of income, how to find that, and where to find your standard deduction, which is also changing uh, between these years. So let's do that for 2020, and then we'll look at um, 2016 as an another example. So you already have the source in here. You can just click that to see it. I already have it open. So this is for 2020. Now, scroll down, scroll down. Don't be overwhelmed by all this stuff. The way this works is that um, you can find your marginal rates right here. You see it says marginal rates. Okay, that's going to be helpful. And it goes actually all the way down to this part right here. And also, if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see it, there, it talks about standard deductions in this paragraph. Now, there's lots of standard deductions depending on your life situation. But our standard deduction is this case. Um, we have, let's see, the standard deduction, we have 24800 That's for married filing um, jointly. It says here, for single taxpayers and married individuals filing separately, the standard deduction rises to 12000 Four hundred. So there it is. That's that's our number. And and the, for the IRS, it'll look like this each year. It'll say for single taxpayers and married individuals filing separately, the standard deduction rises to twelve thousand four hundred. So that's us single taxpayers. We go back here, and for our standard deduction, we type in twelve thousand four hundred. So that's different now. And what else? For the marginal tax rates, um, it says here. For the year 2020, the top tax rate remains at 37% for individual single taxpayers with incomes greater than, there's our first number, 518,400. So we change this. This goes lower to 518,400. Now our table, the way it works is this number also has to match that. So we copy, paste, and then we're going to go down and change our brackets as we go. So here, next we have, let's see, 35% for incomes over 207,350. So this is now 207,350. And see the little change, copy and paste, and then repeat the process. I'll, I'll finish this, this, this one with you. 32%, so let's just check that real quick, 35, 32. So far, these marginal rates are the same. And we start at 163. 300, so <clears throat> 1, 6, 3, 300, copy and paste, and now we're at the 24% bracket, 85, 5, 2, 5, okay, 85, 5, 2, 5, copy, paste, for 22%, 40, 1, 2, 5, 40, 1, 2, 5, copy and paste, and for 12%, 9875, 9875, copy and paste. All right, so those are little changes there in the, in the marginal rates, and that'll also shift the ranges possibly as well. The standard deduction changed, and we're assuming for single individuals or uh, married filing separately. That's the rate we're using, and, you, and then all these numbers change. We'll look at the effects later, and that's for 2020. The same is true for 19. That's an IRS table, right? This is what 19 looks like, and again, if you scroll on 19, the format's a little different, but the idea here is the standard deduction paragraph. For single taxpayers and married individuals, it's 12200 and here are your percentages here. Okay, so you might see some slight differences there, 35, 32. So here, sorry. So here, 37 is still the top rate, right? But it's, it's still at 518,400 there. So that, that's not gonna change. But you'll see little shifts there. I think you get the point. So that's true for 19, and then 18, 
I started to go to the tax foundation because it was a little bit harder to find on the IRS website. So it's a slightly different table and it might be easier to read. So here is your 2018 table and you can ignore these two columns. It's for married individuals and heads of households. We're not analyzing that. We're looking at this column right here and these are your percentages, 10, 12, 22. And they're saying that um, basically the way you read this table, it says 10% from zero through 9525. And then over 525, 9525 is 12% up to 38,700. So in your table, your first bracket for 2018, it would say zero through 9525. The next one would say, 9525 through 38700 and so on and so forth. You basically take these two numbers and put them here and then take the next two numbers, but there's overlaps using the number twice, first two and then second two. You take these two numbers, these two numbers here, excuse me, and put them right here and so on and so forth. So the reading is a little bit different, but then here, um, and then there's a big increase here. The standard deduction for single filers will increase by 5,500. And if you scroll down, you'll see that's a that was a big increase that year to 12,000, right? There's your standard deduction. Now, if we go back to 2017, and again here, you'll see it's the same website. It's the, the, they've changed the format of their, of their table a little bit, but this is single taxable income tax brackets. So, here are your rates zero through nine three two five, nine three two five through thirty seven fifty. But notice here, we've got different brackets. You get ten, fifteen, twenty five, twenty eight, thirty three, and thirty five, and thirty nine point six. That's a big change. So there's three, six, seven rows, seven seven rows here. So that's going to challenge us a little bit, and we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, if we scroll down, let's find our standard deduction here. Here it is. The standard deduction. So here's a table. It's only 6350 So you can see it's much lower there. So watch out for that. Now, before we come back, this is 2017. Let's take a look at 2016. All right, 2016 brackets. Again, they're showing you here. The different brackets, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven different rows, just like in 2017. And 2016 and 2017, you can see 10, 15, 25. Those are different margins. And 28, 33, 35. I'm just checking 28, 33, 35. And they both seem to cap out at 39.6. All right. So at the end of this video, let's, let's just stop for a moment and reflect. What you should do right now is, is repeat and recreate the IRS tables you have it for 2021, do it for 2020 and 2019. In the next video, we'll talk about how to deal with, I'm oh, sorry, 2019 and 2018, because 2018 here has the same marginal rates. There's seven brackets. So we have here three, six, seven. And then here, I guess, you know, I guess we can do it right now. Um, for 2018, make sure you change the marginal rates. And for 2017, just plug these numbers in, 10, 15, 25, 28, 33, 35, and 39.6. So that's seven brackets. And when you plug a number in here, let's say 39.6, just type 39.6, let's see what happens. It might show you 40. If it does that, don't worry, it's just rounding. Click this column, go to Format and Number, and pick this percent right here and that'll round to the nearest hundredth. So that, that's appropriate for some of those tax income brackets. You don't want to round to the nearest whole number, you wanna to go to the nearest hundredth. All right, so your job is to do that and go through for each of the years, take your time, work together, get those numbers in. Thanks.